On the morning of 2 July 1967, during Operation Buffalo, Alpha and Bravo Companies, 1st Battalion, 9th Marine Regiment, moved north on Highway 561 and secure a crossroad as their first objective. As they traveled further north between Bingai and Onke, near the marketplace, they made contact with the elements of the People's Army of Vietnam, 90th Regiment, when sniper fire begins to harass the Marines. Enemy fire intensifies as efforts are made by the 3rd Platoon to suppress it. Tri-directional ambushes have virtually decimated Bravo Company. Meanwhile, Alpha Company, sent to rescue Bravo, is ambushed by Pavan troops. During the battle, the Pavan used flamethrowers in combat for the first time. They set fire to hedgerows along Highway 561, forcing the Marines out into the open, exposing them to artillery, mortar, and small arms fire, causing heavy casualties on both Marine companies and prevent them from linking up with one another. Bravo Company headquarters is decimated when a single Pavan artillery round explodes within the command group. The company commander, Captain Sterling Kitchener Coates, a Pennsylvania native, Two platoon leaders, the radio operator, forward observer, and several others become KIA. Airstrikes disrupt Pavan attempts to attack the 1st platoon, eventually allowing the 1st platoon and the battered 2nd platoon to link up together. 1-9's commander, Lt. Col. Richard John Schenig, deploys a small rescue force involving Charlie and Delta companies, supported by four tanks. Using helicopter and tank fire to disperse enemy troops, Delta is able to secure a helicopter landing zone for the evacuation of casualties. Charlie then continues to move north under heavy fire to rescue what remains of the two companies. Of nearly 400 Marines, the two companies suffer 84 KIA, 190 WIA, and 9 MIA, which makes this the worst one-day loss for the Marines during the Vietnam War. Only 27 Marines from Bravo and about 90 from Alpha remain fit for duty after the initial day's battle. U.S. forces report that the Pavan suffer 55 killed, with another 88 believed to have been killed but unaccounted for. As always, stay salty, stay safe, semper fi, and carry on.